Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very quick video and we are going to be making some Wonder Woman inspired nails. So I've got a blue picked out from, I think it was Cloud Beauty. I've got this one from, I think also Cloud Beauty. Um, they seem to have the same bottles, but sometimes they have a different name on the side, so it gets a bit confusing. And we also have Scarlet from McCart. I've had that red forever, and if you're looking for the most perfect red, then that McCart red is definitely the one to pick up. Literally amazing. I used to get all of my McCart stuff from their McCart UK website, but I believe two years ago, um, over the Christmas break um their website just went into kind of like a massive sale and since then it's just been shut down so for a very long time for maybe a solid six months after christmas it had a bunch of sales and everything was going for like crazy cheap prices and ever since then they've it looks like they've just closed the website down completely and now you have to order from the american website i think it's i think they're located in america and it's a bit difficult for us uk girls because <laughs> the shipping is incredibly incredibly expensive and also they mention in their little like little you know the fine print that the taxes are not included so you could be hit with a massive import tax as well when you pick up your package so that is a bit frightening and i haven't yet brave to order i know you can get a couple of mccart stuff on amazon so if you're in the uk and you want to pick up something then do give amazon a try they don't have everything or their most newest products but they do have a couple of gel polishes on there some of their acrylic systems um rhinestone glue gels and everything like that so i do have a fair chunk on there but unfortunately unless you're going to brave that shipping cost and then import, possible import tax unfortunately we won't be able to pick up the most newest things unfortunately but in case you are shopping on their website i believe i have a discount code in the description to save yourself some money so make sure you go ahead and check that out so going back to the video it feels like i just chatted for a bit too long we are going to be placing our background colors which you already see i've done so now it's time for the nail art we've got two nails that are going to be the same but we're just going to flip them so i'm only going to show you me doing the one so we've got two white nails so for one of those nails i'm going to do lines going from top left to the bottom right kind of you know like slanted lines and you want to thicken them up and you want to leave a gap so you're basically almost creating stripes so you want red white red white and on the other nail that i will do off camera i'm going to switch it up so rather than it going from top left kind of slanted to the right we're going to flip it and it'll be top right kind of slanted to the left i hope that makes sense <laughs> i'll show you them next to each other in a second and they will be both done i will also be doing some other nail little designs on these nails so once again i'll just basically show you me doing it on the one nail and then do the other one off camera and then kind of show you guys them next to each other once they're done i don't actually have any crystal placements today and when it comes to glitter placement we have very very like minimal glitter pla uh, glitter placements so just a little heads up <laughs> so now that we've got the two nails done we can start working on some extra little details there so i've got this blue gel polish here it's kind of a little bit jelly like it's got really nice little glitter almost like fine glitter in there and it's very pretty so i thought let me kind of maybe do three little dots one kind of lower than the other and then drag it to the top and kind of create almost like a dripping effect i don't really think this has anything to do with the move the movie itself or the actual character or anything i was just trying to make the three colors work and make it look really nice and pretty so <laughs> that was my attempt at doing that so with this drip effect i find it the easiest to do the dots first then drag the lines up to the top then kind of fill in that top part and then kind of attach the circle that you've created to the line and then kind of do little like cur um, curved lines right at the top i hope you're able to see what i'm doing there i don't really know how to explain it well <laughs> but i'm hoping that i was able to really get that close to the camera so you guys can see how i did it so of course you want to repeat that onto the other nail as well which of course i'll do off camera um, and I've placed this into the lamp so I don't nudge anything but now that it's out I'm going to do two extra little tiny droplets at the bottom and basically trying to create little droplets and <laughs> make it look like it's dripping down the nail so here we go we've got the two nails done just a beautiful reflection of one another so now it's time to work on our four white nails so for this nail it's, it's fairly simple 
and straightforward so I went in with the white base just because I thought it would be easier for me to do the next design that we're about to do now. So with the red I want to do like a triangle at the top of that nail so you kind of want to find your point so I'm just doing a little dot there and then I'm dragging from that dot to the sides and you're making your triangle and then you want to colour it in. So I am going to use my nail art brush to colour it in. And then once you're happy, pop it into the lamp. Um, or if you're just a pro, you don't have to, you can carry on with the nail design, but I <laughs> usually don't like to trust myself. So I do pop it into the lamp, even if it's for a quick flash cure, just to get it in there, just in case, because you never know. I'm trying to do a couple of things at once. I'm trying to do the nails. I'm kind of trying to film at the same time. I'm trying to make sure it's in focus and kind of somewhat in the center of the camera. So um, there's a lot going on. I don't really want to nudge it and get it wrong and smudge it and redo it. Oh, it's just going to be a big mess. So now it's time for the blue and you want to leave a gap so you're basically leaving the white there in between and you're basically repeating the same thing. You want to drag it to the sides and then you want to colour it in. Same thing, I'll just use my nail art brush to do that. But here you can really, really see how much of a jelly-like consistency this blue is. It's not at all very opaque, so this one does require two coats. But I quite like that it's quite jelly. I feel like this kind of like a different thing you can do with these kind of gel polishes and it kind of opens up a door of other nail designs that you can do so especially with this one with two coats it gave this really nice kind of look to it I hope you're able to see in just a second when I show you but I just thought it was quite different it gave a different kind of finishing touch and it was quite interesting to see how this one looked once it's done so we'll go ahead and cure do a second layer I don't think I ended up doing a second layer of the red just because you can see how opaque that is literally amazing so now that the other nail is done, it's time to work on this half blue, half red nail. So for this one, to make it proper Wonder Woman inspired and, you know, really give that kind of feel, I'm going to do the W logo in the center there. So I'm drawing out the W here now and the line underneath is going to basically repeat what you've done just a bit lower and that was just basically to outline where I want the W and then I'm going to color it in with the white. So this actually, I felt like this was going to be harder than it was, but you can see that I found it quite easy because the, the, the clip isn't cutting, so that means I'm not actually wiping anything away and I'm just going in and doing it straight away. And considering that I'm having to kind of float my hands in the air and do it, I'm pretty impressed with how well I did my lines, to be honest. So now that it's done, just colour it in with the white. Of course, if your white is a bit too sheer, we do have a fairly strong red and blue in the background so feel free to do two layers I might have actually gone in with two layers myself but of course off camera real quick and then you just want to do some black outline and unfortunately that did not include <laughs> end up being on camera basically I just could not get it in frame and it was just quite difficult because I was trying to focus and make sure that my lines are the same thickness and it's so easy to not make them the same thickness so yeah unfortunately that one had to go off camera but if you wanted to recreate just make sure you just pause the video and it's pretty kind of self-explanatory whatever you see is just where I've put the black lines so time for the glitter placement like I said it's very minimal I don't think I've even ever used these before so it's quite nice to whip them out and finally use them I've got such a huge bag and I don't know if I'll ever 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 get to use all of them in my lifetime I'll have to probably do a video a day for the rest of my life and finally maybe I'll get through them one day because <laughs> I'd always have to I would also have to do a nail design with them so it would take a little while for sure but who knows maybe one day I'll make a video <laughs> um, boasting about how I finally finished my little stars there but honestly huge bag I've got anyways back to the video you just want to place those little stars on that blue part of this nail in particular I have placed a base coat and that's going to work as our base color or base not base color our base like glue for the glitter so pop that into the lamp. You can apply another layer to help with the bulkiness of those little stars or you can do a builder gel or clear acrylic on top and then file if you wanted to. But I'm doing it for just the video just to spark some nail ideas and give some inspo so I won't have to bother with that luckily. So for these drip nails I'm doing it on both actually the same thing. So I'm just going to place three of those stars at the top and then place them into the lamp. So this is the other one. Just placing my base coat. The base coat that I'm using today is from Madam Glam. Bunch of companies today. I'll try and leave as many links as I possibly can in the description if you want to have a look. So place your stars again, just three at the top. If you had more space, then you could definitely chuck more in or even maybe one in each drip if you wanted to. But my little circles that I created were a little bit too small for a whole star to go in there. So then pop that one into the lab. And lastly, we have one nail to add the little stars to. 
and I'm going to place them basically scattered across that whole red nail. That whole red nail is going to be full of those gorgeous silvery holographic stars and I purposely sprinkled those little stars onto my mat just because I found it quite hard actually to pick it up from the little triangle triangular plate thing whatever it is a little container so I sprinkled it on as you can see it's just so much quicker now I can just pick it up it's just one by one and then the plate they're kind of like clustered together so when I go in to pick up one I end up picking up like five at a time and it's not what I want so yeah sprinkling it on can sometimes be quite handy and you know messy but handy <laughs> so I'm just going to basically do two one two one two one of those stars and then the lower you're getting of course you can't repeat that anymore so just do what you can and now that everything has been cured I'm going in with a fairly generous amount of sorry about that that was my watch charging <laughs> telling me it's charged um just make sure you go in with a generous amount of top coat and I'm going in for a glossy top coat today and I'm just going in for a generous amount just because of those little stars so I wanted to cover them up and not make them too noticeable that they're quite bulky so just going to rub that top coat in there. I'm using my Vendelisa uh, Glossy Top Coat. I'm running out so I had to pop it onto the side and scrape up any goodies in there. Sometimes I feel like it's lying to me. It's like I'm running out and then the moment I place on the side, it's like my brush is literally swimming in the top coat. I feel like sometimes it just tricks me. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm running out when I'm really not. <laughs> so just cover them up. I don't end up actually finishing it off on camera I just cut it because it's just yeah I was just taking my time trying to make sure to get the top coat in between all the little stars and everything pop into the lamp and here are the final results hope you guys liked it it's a little bit different than what I usually do it's proper themed and everything and it's you know you know you know but yeah I hope you guys liked it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'd love to see you all in my next video bye guys